Hey guys, welcome back. I'm going to do a real quick video. Yes, I have tons of videos of my museum. Um, also, I did change my name. Um, so if you guys are subscribers, uh, my name is Rogue Jedi 72 now instead of Jimmy's Star Wars Museum. I think that's what I had. Because basically, I'm a Star Wars collector and everybody knows. Um... I am going to just show the main part of the museum, uh, things I've added and such. Um, if you want to see what else I have, please check out the other videos of my complete tour of the museum. Uh, the main part, uh, the vault as I call it. So anyway guys, uh, we will get started and um, hope you guys enjoy it. So this is basically the main part. Of the museum this is all my figures well not all my figures but some of the saga collection like I have pregnant pattern me and a death trooper and things like that of course I still don't understand the whole Anakin Anakin Skywalker spirit which is a coin figure but what is this 70s disco weird but anyway that is yeah we will not get started on that of course i have my battle buddy vader of course my r2 that i had for a very very long time um so yeah some of my power of the force figures which i'm still trying to build on and hopefully i get more to add to the collection. Now that, of course, that is the door. Which I have not seen the Star Wars Resistance um, cartoon. I thought the figures were cool. I haven't seen them in anybody else's collection. So, of course, they're in my collection. And of course, that is the vintage, um, what is it, a tie scepter? Is that what they call? So, yes. My little Vader shrine. That is a vintage uh, Vader bank. So yes. You got the Vader car. Cool lamp. Of course, these are some vintage card backs. Of course, they're a little bit messed up, but I have my collection. Uh, that is an original ATST from uh, the Return of the Jedi. That is the ATST from the Power of the Force, which I like that one more better than that one. Yes, I know, but it's a vintage, and this one looks more like from the movie to me. Um, of course, we have a Biker Scout, which is still in the box. Book Fit, the 40th Anniversary. An interactive Yoda, which is still in the box. I do have another one that's in the vault, as I call it, or as a walk-in closet. Uh, that's the Power of the Force uh, Millennium Falcon. Of course, we have Jar Jar. Of course, all these figures. Phantom of the Menace, Fan the Phantom Menace, the Phantom of the Menace, what, what, what am I thinking? That is the original poster, of course I have my Solo, yes that's how it's made, it looks like it's water stained, but that's how the movie poster is made. I spent good money on this poster, and it is in a very expensive frame. As we move on, of course, my Vader blanket. Of course, I've had these for a while, and I'm very proud to have those in my collection. So yes, those are the movie posters of the VHS releases. 
So yes, I have two more that go with that. Um, I recently added the curtains to the museum. So yes, that there used to be a, of course, yes, I know, a, a bed sheet on, on the window. But that has been removed and I replaced them with curtains. So I have some cool Star Wars curtains in the museum now. <clears throat> These are the vintage uh, Tauntaun, Snow Beast, uh, Jawa, uh, vintage Imperial Shuttle. Of course, it's just missing the gun. Uh, vintage uh, Cloud City car. There's the, uh, the other um, <clears throat> speeder bike, which is out of the package, which I paid good money for him. Those are the other posters of the uh, VHS releases. And now we go down here. I am slowly building up my vintage collection. Yes, this is the original vintage collection. This is not the ones that they just came out with. Those are all original vintage figures. And of course, I added this cool Kylo Ren. Uh, rug to the museum and of course our princess may she rest in peace I did get that one from McDonald's I did ask the manager and she just gave it to me which was cool of her of course my Kylo Ren standy the other curtain I don't know if that's an official uh, signature so I hope it is all the uh, commemorative, I guess, episode DVD collection. Of course, they don't come out. They didn't come with the DVDs, but of course, I do have the DVDs. Those are all my Star Wars movies. Uh, this goes into the vault. I don't know if you guys could really see it, but yes, there's the other one that I got from McDonald's. I don't want to say that name very much so yes this is basically a short tour of the uh, vault as I call it and yes there's more over there so yes and we will go over here because it is very cold in there um, yes there's more vintage well of course Kylo Ren is in Jabba's Palace now. I recently added him to the vintage. So yes, there's more vintage here. And of course, everybody's wanting the Mandalorian. Which is a, is a very um, sought out uh, black series. <clears throat> Banks, C two P R two D D, and uh, Darth Maul, things like that. So anyway, guys, I don't want to go too much into depth because I have the other videos. But yes, that goes into the bathroom. That is all Star Wars in the bathroom. It goes all the way around. But if you want to see more of that, please check out the other video. So yes, that is the tour. I just wanted to show you some of the things I added. Um, that is a vintage um, snow speeder from 1980, whenever Empire Strikes came back. Strikes Back came out. That is the uh, original vintage card back. $2.47 back in the day. Now they're like $30 <coughs> for a figure. So anyway, guys, that is enough of me talking. Um, hope you enjoyed this video. Please check out my other videos. Like I said, I did change my name. My name is on YouTube, Rogue Jedi Seventy Two. Also, follow me on Instagram, uh, Rogue Jedi Seventy Two is my name on Instagram as well. So anyway, guys, um, we will end this video. And like I always say, may the force be with you.